Afro-American, right? When we say that we African-American, guess what we saying? We come from two different white men. Leo Scipius Africanus, which was a white man, a Roman white man. That's who Africa's named after. America's named after Americo Vespucci. He was an Italian cartographer, a map maker. So can two white men come together and make black people? So what is our nationality, brother? Black is not a nationality. So you believe in the Bible, I assume, right? You believe in the Bible, right? So the reason why it's important to know your nationality, because guess what? Give me Luke 168, salvation, right? It's salvation for all races of people. You believe so, right? I want you to understand this, my brother. Let me get this sign right quick. This sign, let me get this sign. Where the sign at, where the sign at? Right there, there it is. Right here. My brother, look at, flip that upside down for me. So guess what? A lot of stuff that we've been taught came from this man. Give me Isaiah 29 and 13 first. So us believing that salvation is for all races of people. God loves everybody. Um, God loves the sinner and not the sin. Guess who that was taught to us by? By the same people that had us in chains. That's right. The same doctrine of seminary school, which is the cemetery school, was passed down from the slave masters. The first seminary schools were created by slave masters, by slave holders. They the ones who gave us the doctrine that we have today. And we're going to show you that in the Bible. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. He said, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the biblical Israelites. He said that we draw near to God with our mouth. Just like the brother coming up here saying all the doctrines that's in his mind, but nothing he said is in the Bible. God said what? Read it again. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Our people, we draw near to God with our mouth. I love God. They quote the scriptures, but don't do nothing that the scriptures say, right? Keep going. And with their lips. And with their what? Their lips. And with their lips, with their mouths, they what? Do honor me. Our people honor God with their mouth, but God said what? Read. But have removed their heart far from me. The Israelites, the blacks, the Spanish, the Native Americans, guess what? We removed our hearts from God. Right here, this is the start. During slavery, they gave us this image. We, Our hearts, our minds was removed from God. Hold that. Give me Galatians 1 and 6. This is how our hearts, our minds was removed of God. Because the people that enslaved us, guess what they did? They took our book and they taught us lies. One of the lies that they taught us that Christ was a white man. That is nowhere in the Bible. They taught us, guess what, that blacks was Gentiles. That is nowhere in the Bible. The blacks in America are the biblical Jews according to the Bible. Right. So Christianity, during the time of slavery, they got the Bible, and this is what they did. Read. Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. Read. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ Read. unto another gospel. God says all people have been removed to another gospel. Not the gospel of the Bible, not the gospel that Isaiah was following, that Peter was following, that Paul was following. They got driven to another gospel that is not of the Bible. Read. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you uh -huh. and would pervert the gospel of Christ. What did the Christian church do? Pervert the gospel of Christ. So when the slave masters got our biblical text, what did they do? Pervert the gospel of Christ. The slave masters that had blacks and Hispanics in slavery, guess what they did? They pervert the gospel of Christ. They said... Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. The gospel of Christ. They said, slaves obey your masters. They gave you a white image of Christ. Right. They told you, guess what? You have to forgive your neighbors. No matter how much we oppress you, you have to forgive us. They perverted the gospel of Christ. This is a warning that Paul gave us. Now let's go back to what you had, Isaiah 29. So this is Isaiah. This is during the Syrian and Bab Isaiah was warning us that this was going to happen in the future. Read it again. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips to honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. Our hearts have been removed because what? They perverted the gospel of Christ. Read. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. God says our fear towards him was taught to us by who? By the what? By the precepts of men. 
What men taught us the Bible? The slave masters, the same people that oppress us today. So how did they pervert the gospel of Christ? I ask you a question. It's salvation for all races of people, right? And in the church, they would say yes, right? And you agree, right? So now let's see what the Bible says. Remember, we've been removed to another gospel, not the gospel of the Bible. So let's see what the gospel of the Bible says. Give me that Luke 1, 68, read. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So my brother, I want you to add here. We read in the New Testament and it says what? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. We're reading the New Testament and it said, blessed be the Lord God of who? Of Israel. Does that say everybody? Did that say everybody? That didn't say everybody. Hold that. Give me Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. This is what we got to understand. What's your name, my brother? Ron. Ron. Brother Ron. My name is Benaiah. This is what we got to understand. God does not change. In the Old Testament, guess what? God was for who? For the Israelites. In the New Testament, guess who's God's for? For the Israelites. And we're going to read that out the Bible. Read what you got. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. God said what? I am the Lord. I change not. God said he does not change. So we got to examine the Bible. Remember, when we was in Egypt, God killed the Egyptians for who? For the Israelites. So if God did that, does God change? If he wasn't for all nations then, he's not for all nations now. You get what I'm saying? So let's finish out the scripture. Luke 168. Salvation is only for the 12 tribes of Israel. How you doing? What's the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 